Hello, everyone. My name is Moses Hofikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with another exciting income pick. If you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you can head to IncomeInvestors.com, or you can find the link to the website in the description below. Business Development Companies, or BDCs for short, came into being back in 1980 when President Jimmy Carter signed the Small Business Investment Incentive Act into law. The bill was designed specifically for lending to small and mid-sized businesses. And from there, it took a number of years before BDCs became popular. By end of 1990s, only a handful of BDCs were listed on public stock changes. But then came the 2008 financial crisis. Once the smoke cleared, Congress introduced a number of regulations that made it exceptionally difficult to launch a new bank or lend to small and mid-sized businesses. Since then, BDCs have emerged as a force in the financial world. Today, there are roughly 140 BDCs with over $312 billion in assets under management, and that's up from just $23 billion in 2009. One of the best performing BDCs right now is Stellis Capital Investment Corp. They're traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol SCM. John, what can you tell us about them? Thanks, Mo. Yeah, Stellis Capital is, as you probably guessed, BDC. It specializes in investing in the private middle market companies uh, here in the U.S. and Canada. Invest through first lien, second lien, unitranch, and mezzanine debt financing, often with a corresponding equity investment generally makes investments of between $20 million and $100 million in companies generating between $5 million and $50 million of EBITDA. Now, to date, the company has completed over 350 investments and currently has 80 or more than 80 active investments with $2.9 billion in assets under management. Some of the well-known companies Stella was an early investor in are Ad.net, Atkins Nutritionals, Dr. Scholl's, and U.S. Auto. For the second quarter of this year, how did it do financially? For the second quarter and to June 30th, Stellis announced that net investment income increased a little more than 13% year over year to $11.8 million or 48 cents per share. Our core net investment income jumped 14.5% to $12.37 million or 50 cents per share. Now, investment income came in at $26.6 million, most of which was actually interest income from portfolio investments. Now, as of June 30th, which is the most recent data, the company's loan portfolio was yielding 11.7%. Now, it also has, for interest sake, $169.4 million in outstanding borrowing under its credit facility. If you like what you see so far, check out IncomeInvestors.com. While you're there, you could also sign up for a free special report titled Three Income Stocks to Own Today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to IncomeInvestors.com in the description below. And now back to the video. What does its monthly distribution look like? Thanks to the company's growing free cash flow, Stellis is able to provide investors with a reliable monthly dividend. Uh, most recently, it declared a monthly dividend of 0.1333 cents for each of October, November, and December. Uh, this works out to 40 cents per share for the fourth quarter. Or $1.60 per share on an annual basis for this recording, our current ultra high dividend yield of 11.23%. Now, more broadly, over the last 11 years of operations, uh, Stella shareholders have received a total of $262 million in distributions, which is equivalent to $15.75 per share, or again, at current levels, 110% of its current share price. And ultra high yielding Stella's capital investment stock is at record levels too. Yeah, more often than not, ultra-high yield dividends are attached to a stock that is depressed. That's because share price and dividend have an inverse. That isn't why Stellis has such a high dividend. The 11.23 dividend yield isn't a fluke either. Or, as we just said, a result of a lower share price. Stellis stock is trading at record levels and has a five-year average dividend yield of 10.44%. In fact, SCM stock hit a new record high of $14.44 per share on October 25th. And it continues to trade near that level. Now, as of this recording, SCM stock is up 20% year-to-date and around 26% year-over-year. Big gains, but Wall Street expects Stellis Capital stock to hit fresh highs over the coming quarters. 
with analysts providing a 12-month share price target of, I think it's $15.50 per share. John, thank you so much for your insights. Stellis Capital Investment Corp. is one of the longest tenured BDCs specializing in senior secured loans in the middle market. Collectively, Stellis has invested over $8.5 billion in lower middle market credit and equity investment across multiple cycles and industries over the last 19 years. Thanks to its reliable cash flow, it is able to provide investors with a reliable monthly dividend. Its solid financial results are also why investors have sent SCM stock to record levels and are expected to send it higher in coming months. That's it for today. And make sure to go to IncomeInvestors.com now to get our free special report on three income stocks you own today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to IncomeInvestors.com in the description below. We'll be back with more income picks soon, so stay tuned. And in the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.